Hi, welcome to another morning cup of inspiration. You know, I want to follow up with what Dan was saying yesterday about miracles. I've seen miracles in my life too, and firsthand, several years ago after I graduated from college, actually two months after I graduated, my dad passed away at 57 years old of a massive heart attack. I was in Springfield, Missouri, working at a local TV station, so my family came there for Thanksgiving. Uh, I noticed my brother-in-law carried my sister up the stairs to our my apartment, and I had a three-year-old niece, and of course my mom, she came in. And um, as we were sitting there the night before Thanksgiving, we had dinner, and my brother-in-law says, it's time we tell him. And my sister said, I don't want to tell them. I don't, I, I don't, I'm not ready to. And he goes, no, we have to tell them. So she proceeded to say that she'd seen some doctors, and I'm thinking the optimist that I am, that, oh, she's pregnant again, great, I'm going to have another another niece or nephew. She said she saw some doctors and they ran some tests and that she had a disease. Disease has three stages and she was in the second progressing to the third. And then she told us she had multiple sclerosis. Immediately my thoughts went to my uncle Louis, who was my mother's brother and my dad's best man at their wedding who had passed away of multiple sclerosis years ago. I turned to my left to look at my mom and she was going over. She just was, lost her breath and my brother-in-law caught her. And when we all came together, their mom said, Does anybody here believe that God cannot heal Sherry? And I said, I believe it. And my brother-in-law said, he believed it. Mom goes, if, the, if nobody believes it, I want you out of the apartment. I want you in the apartment. She goes, this family's gone through enough. We're going to pray for her now. And she asked me to go get some oil. So I did from the kitchen, and she anointed my sister with oil, and she prayed over her. Boy, she said a prayer. My mom just, she just pleaded with God, knowing that it was, you know, it's, it's God, it's, if it's his intention to heal her, then he will. But my sister said, as my mom prayed, she felt this heat go through the top of her head to the bottom of her toes. And she wasn't instantly healed. The next day, I remember her laying on the couch and, and my, my niece was crying and she got up to, to go get her. And, and I saw her dragging her leg and I knew that this disease is progressing. And she later went back to the doctor, and, and uh, after she got back from Thanksgiving, and they said, well, you have no, your symptoms are, are leveled off right now. And she went back again, and they said, well, it looks like you're, in, you're going into remission, and you're in remission. And they kept telling her this, and she's in remission, and not to have any more children, you know, you've got to be careful, and they're going to watch this. To the point where she actually had my nephew, Doug, uh, a couple years later, and she went on, she just got better and better and better. It was an instant, but it was a continual getting better. And God doesn't just leave things half-baked. When he does things, he does it completely. When she went to get insurance years later, she told them that she had had multiple sclerosis. And they called her and asked her, they said, are you sure it was MS? She goes, yes, I'm sure. I was at the MS hospital. She goes, call the hospital and ask for my records. And in the years I was there, and they said that they, they did. And she says, Ann, she goes, they can't find a record on you. They even lost her records. That's how complete this healing was. I am proud to say my sister just turned 70 this year. She was 27 at the time we first heard about this. But she turned 70, and God has blessed her ever since, and he healed her. And I saw that happen. I was there. I was praying over her too. And we just prayed, God, if it's your will, because it's all in God's will. But he healed her. Miracles do happen, and they can happen for you too. If you just believe... And just trust God to answer the prayers that's according to his will. And he's going to do that. But I, I believe you're going to see miracles too. Have a great day. I look forward to seeing you for another morning cup of inspiration. Love you all. God bless. Bye-bye.